Hello everyone, Brad here with Custom Offsets. Got episode lifts and levels. This is gonna be a BDS six inch kit for Ram 1500 trucks. Uh, I got I forget the year range on these trucks, to be honest with you. Hold on a second. I believe these are gonna be for 2012 uh, to 2018 Ram 1500 trucks, six inch kit. First things first, we'll talk about the rear of these kits because these are coil sprung rear trucks. There's two options. Um, BDS offers a three inch lift for the rear and a five inch lift for the rear. So you can kind of choose how you want the stance of the truck. Three inch is gonna give you a more leveled stance, I guess you would say, once the truck is lifted. And that's what these are here. These are gonna be a three inch lift spring for the rear. Um, it also has to do with how the trucks come from the factory because rams are kind of all over the place in terms of the rake that they come with. Some have one inch of rake and some have three inches of rake. So that's something you wanna kinda wanna look at beforehand. Now jumping into the rest of the kit, obviously we got our new uh, forged knuckles here that BDS makes. One of the nice things here, we got new tie rod ends as you'll see, so no cutting the factory tie rod ends or anything like that. You simply remove the old ones, put these new BDS ones on. We got the high clearance cross members that BDS makes here. Um, as you can see, it's pretty consistent with most other BDS stuff here. Nice quarter inch plate steel with this really rugged uh, powder coating that they use on here, I really like that. And then um, no struts on these kits. So we're gonna have these strut spacers up front, which are here. And these are gonna go on top of the factory struts. And they also make you use a preload spacer, which you actually have to take your factory struts apart and then assemble this on top of the um, spring in the strut assembly to preload the springs to get you that extra little bit of lift out. I believe they go over to that in the instructions here. It's only for certain applications that you need to use that, um, but that's just something to wor worth, worth noting. And then obviously we got our diff drop brackets here. It's gonna be these pieces. Um, and then the new skid plate, which is gonna tie in between the new drop cross members when the front diff gets lowered down. Being that these are a coil sprung rear truck, you got a lot of extra little brackets. It's like you'll see like this, this is gonna be for the rear control arms. And then you got another bracket here to relocate the rear track bar. Pretty much a lot of little brackets and stuff that go into the rear of the vehicle. The rears on these trucks are a lot more complicated than obviously a leaf sprung trunk truck because there's a lot more going on. And then let's see to finish it off, we got a bunch of hardware here. Now, the nice thing is they do give you, BDS gives you new braided stainless brake lines on this particular kit, which is a nice feature. Uh, new sway bar end links, these are gonna be for the rear. And then you got some more ones for the front of the truck here. And then some bump stop drop brackets. And I guess one other thing worth mentioning is they give you this uh, machine piece of aluminum for the front uh, drive shaft, I believe is what that one's for. And that's pretty much it, I think. Six inch BDS kit for 2012 to 18 Ram 1500s. We're gonna go get this on the truck and then we'll go talk about it once we get it on there. All right, guys, we got the six inch BDS kit installed on the uh, old Ram ski here. And we're just gonna run through the components like we always do so you can see how they go on the truck and what everything looks like once it's installed. Obviously, the first thing you'll notice is the new BDS forged knuckles here. Um, another thing that we mentioned on the bench is you'll see these new tie rods here, which is, as I said before, a nice feature. So you don't have to cut the factory tie rods or anything like that. Simply bolt the new on, ones on and you're good to go. Sway bar extension link here. You'll see it uh, basically threads onto the old sway bar link. So if you actually ever have problems with the uh, joint at the bottom of the factory link, you can replace them with another factory link. So that's kind of nice. Um, new brake lines here, the braided stainless lines BDS provides. And then obviously we got our lower control arm drop cross members front and rear. And then you, if you look in here, you'll see the front differential drops. And obviously we want to drop the front differential down to help with the CV axle angles. So that's what that's for. And then everything's tied together in there with the differential skid plate, ties in the front and rear cross members together here just to help everything be braced up nicely. And then we also have the front drive line spacer here. That's just so the front drive 
shaft is not overextended in any way. And then I think that's pretty much, oh, I forgot all the lift up front comes from this uh, strut spacer up top here. You'll see that in here. So you're gonna reuse the factory strut and then use the BDS provided strut spacer on top of that. And that's pretty much covers the front of the truck in terms of all the components. I'm just looking over to make sure I'm not missing anything there. And then moving on to the back of the truck, these trucks are a lot more complicated in the rear than most other leaf sprung truck trucks because once again, these are coil sprung rear trucks. So you can see we got the new coil springs installed here. There's no spacers in the back for lifting. It's all done by new springs. We got our new sway bar extensions here, uh, upper control arm relocation brackets you can see installed here. That's to correct the uh, geometry of the control arms. Same thing goes with the track bar here. We have a relocation bracket um, to correct the track bar angle and also to keep the rear axle centered. If you were to run that in the stock location, it would pull the axle over to one side and be sticking out one side more than the other, which is no bueno. So that's a key part here. Upper control arm relocation brackets on this side as well. And then rounding it off, we have the Fox 2.0 shocks, which are obviously an upgrade. Standard shocks are the NX2 shocks. And I believe that about covers it for the rear. There are some brake line relocation brackets that you got to do in the rear here to give you some slack with the brake lines. Um, they do give you new front brake lines, but not for the rear, just relocating the rear ones. And that's really going to be it.